So is a uh, Emory University Hospital uh, Winship Cancer Institute involved in immunotherapy trials? Uh, yes, we are. So Winship Cancer Institute is involved in industry-sponsored clinical trials because most of the compounds out there uh, being utilized to fight cancer by immunotherapy have been developed by a pharmaceutical industry. In the pharmaceutical industry, when they want to test if it works or not, turn to academic health centers to test it, and we participate in those. So we can have access to that. There are FDA-approved immunotherapy agents, and of course we have access to those as well. The next step is investigator-led immunotherapy studies, where something that was invented at the university is tested in people. And our, our vision is to do so for immunotherapy of cancer because we have a pipeline of technologies that were developed at Emory by Emory scholars examining the use of augmented blood cells to treat cancer. We're not yet in people, but we're shortly expecting to do so. What we are involved in right now is using your own cells but in the flip application, which is to treat autoimmune disease, which is a little bit different from treating cancer, because for cancer you want to augment the immune response. In autoimmune disease, you want to suppress the immune response. And for that class of technologies, that we are doing human clinical trials. And that can be discovered at clinicaltrials.gov. Clinical trials with an S at the end, all in one word, .gov. And it's a searchable database, very user-friendly. You can type in immunotherapy or wind chip or cell therapy. And if you're interested in cancer or a specific cancer, type that word in. Up appears all the immunotherapy studies that are available regionally and nationally.